okay uh today we will discuss about quick sort and in previous lecture i discussed about binary search which was based on recursive approach that means it was based on divide and conquer strategy divide and conquer strategy is that that so if there is a big list so you divide it and do the same thing repeating the same thing for the smaller size smaller list so doing the bigger list at once it is better to do the small smaller list so it will be more efficient so divide and conquer strategy is that don't go for one bigger list just make it divided and do the operation on that smaller one so it will be more uh, more uh, time saving than uh, doing the operation same operation or uh, instead of a single big list so that is called divide and conquer strategy and best upon this strategy algorithm uh, the recursive approach is based on this divide and conquer strategy so and this recursive approach how to implement a program uh, using recursion that we have ex we have showed for a binary search now today we will discuss about quick sort which is another uh, program to be impl implemented uh, using recursion and uh, the quick sort means it's a uh, it's a technique for sorting uh and this sorting is based on divide and conquer strategy whenever any technique is based on divide and conquer strategy that means we can do the uh, we can implement it uh, by using recursive approach so uh, quick sort means instead a sorting means either the all list within array will be in some order either will be in ascending or descending order and the strategy is tells that uh, instead of sorting the whole array instead uh, instead of doing that you just break the whole array into smaller chunks and do the sorting and you keep on breaking it a list until there is only one single uh, item in that list so in that case if you break in this way and the break stops when there is only one element so in that case the the sorting becomes more faster and we will implement it but before that i want to say something about uh, what is there uh, in quick sort that uh, the theoretically how it is executed uh, that i will show later but before that i am going for program implementation in c and for that whatever brief introduction is required i am going to i am um, going to uh, elaborate that one so actually in quick sort suppose there are 10 elements within array there are, uh, the, that is the array size is 10 so there are 10 numbers which are in haphazard order because there is no such order of like ascending or descending so what we will do we will sort this 10 elements in such a way so that it will be in the array in ascending order so the array uh, suppose 10 uh, elements means the first element will uh, will have array index 0 and the highest and the last element of that array will have index 9 0 to 9 and the element which is in 0 position and uh, sorting it ascending order all elements in the um, uh, in the, uh, uh, the all elements uh, uh, will be in less than the uh, uh, ninth element a uh, ninth element of that array similarly all elements in the eighth position will be less than the uh, re uh, left left side or left side seven elements will be greater than all of the seven elements so um, actually array zero suppose if a, uh, if an element is uh, indicated by the by its index so suppose the name of the array is array arr so arr zero will be less than arr1 arr1 will be less than arr2 so mm, all of the elements for a particular position and for each position uh, that will be greater than all of the elements of its like uh, left side element and this is 
true for all of the positions of the array then it becomes uh, sorted ascending uh, sorting in ascending order so how this can be implemented how divide and conquer strategy will do this sorting the technique is that we will choose a particular uh, element as a pivot element okay suppose for uh, you can you can choose any of the element as pivot element so uh, as for simplicity i am choosing element uh, zero at index zero at element as the pivot element then uh, then two index variable will be initialized which is p and q p is means uh, which will be uh, uh, if zero at element is uh, pivot element then p will be next element of it that is one first index is array one will be the um, array one that uh, index one will be the value of p and as we uh, first we are considering the total array so the q index of the q will be the highest element uh, of that list highest element index of that list which is nine so why this introducing this to index variable p and q uh, is that uh, that p uh, when the element in the p th pth element of the array if it is less than the pivot element then p will be incremented by 1 that means whenever the element which is all of the element which will less than the a pivot element that are going to the left side if p is incremented then again it will be again repeated by the next pth element is less than the pivot element if it is less then we will again increment p okay and the q the importance of q is that that means why i am doing this why i am incrementing p by 1 when the pth element is less than pivot element so all of the less than element will be one sided and we will be left sided so we can make we will do it later but we will increment p on this condition now array uh, the upper element index is q highest element index highest is q so there is no way to increment it we have to decrement it and when the q will be decremented by 1 when the um, the qth uh, qth index element is uh, greater than the pivot element then it will be uh, then the index q value of the index will be a value of the index q will be decremented by one that means all of the elements which are greater than the pivot element that is going to the right hand side in this way we will continue to do that uh, decrementing q uh, on this condition that is when the qth uh, element is greater than the pivot element then we were decrementing q now when it will stop when there is uh, so when it will stop when p stops goes on incrementing or when q stops goes on decrementing the condition is that if all elements in p p is incrementing and all elements are less than uh, less than all of the element of the list then in that case the p will reach to the upper uh, p will reach to the highest index that means if it is 10 elements is there p will reach to 10 and if p reaches to 10 that means upper highest index then we will not increment p further and we will stop incrementing p so when p stops incrementing that i have to understand so I'm just writing it. Just uh, uh, it will be better. Okay, I'm opening first editor uh, so that it, it can be written there. CD. CD. Program. Then CD. Uh, Searching R C H I N G searching then C D now here will be G edit G edit quick sort 
quick sort hmm. dot c okay so we are implementing quick sort implementation of quick sort quick sort implementation of quick sort quick sort Achha. so so here is we will implement when the pth index element is uh, less than the pivot element then p will be incremented and until the condition is satisfied that array pth element is less than the um, pivot element it will goes on incrementing but up to how much it can grow it can grow up to the highest highest element it can go up to the highest element. after that array size will not permit because it has a fixed array size it can it sh cannot go beyond the array size so if it uh, if the value of the p index goes to the highest index then we will stop incrementing similarly when we are decrementing so what is the condition of p incrementation so p will uh, stop incrementing when when the uh, pth element is greater than uh, pivot element or p reaches to the highest index then p incrementation will stop it will not be incrementation will not be done so that means while loop should be implemented in that case so first of all we implement that one so uh, i am include sttio dot h and here i am declaring the array size array size equals to 10 and for example we are uh, we are taking we are uh, initial we are taking uh, declaring array as a global variable because we will do recursive function call and for each function call that array should be accessible so we cannot declare it within main function instead of that we will uh, declare array as a global variable we will declare array as a global variable so I am initializing the array beforehand so, uh, so the array name is ARR so ARR and it is the elements are 11 2 9 13 57 then 25 then suppose 17 then 1 then 90 90 then 3 then 3 so these are the 10 elements in the array now first of all we will uh, what we will do we will uh, okay i should write the main uh, main function that is with a main function and uh, which will end with return zero okay Achha. in within main function i will call the recursive function so that recursive function name I am giving quick sort, quick sort, which is returning none, nothing, so void, void quick sort, and what will be the parameter will be passing? That is the list lower index and list upper index. So that will be integer. So I am using lower variable for lower index and upper variable for upper index okay now we will uh, define now within this uh, main function um, I will just call the quick sort quick sort so active. and here for this particular array the lower index is 0 and the upper index is 9 only this much only within main function only one line is sufficient now everything uh, everything the code total code will be implemented on this quick sort function recursive function okay so
so void quick sort i'm going to declare the function body void quick sort so empty and the two parameter i'm passing int lower and int upper okay so now i'm telling you that uh, for the simply for our uh, in program one element should be pivot element and that pivot element should be after uh, doing sorting after a particular uh, type of i mean particular execution of some particular uh, sequence of codes that pivot element will be placed in its proper position and all of the elements which are in the left side of the pivot element that will be all lesser value will be less than the pivot element and all elements which are on the right side of the pivot element those values will be higher than the pivot element so i have to uh, now how to um, pivot element we will just uh, declare the index for pivot so i am declaring a variable pivot pivot index pivot index and for pivot index i am taking the lower index as a pivot index so i am assigning the value lower now the p will be next element of the uh, pivot element so what will be the index for p index value of p will be equals to lower plus 1 lower value has been passed through this uh, function call and lower index uh, lower index value will be the pivot element and the next element will be uh, next index will be for p another uh, uh, variable will be q which is int q which will give you the highest index of your list so it which is upper okay now the why p has been uh, p has been introduced that we will keep on incrementing p if the pth element pth array element is less than the pivot element that means all of the elements which are less than pivot element that is becoming in the la left side that is uh, that will be on the left side so for this reason i will if it is less than pth element is less than pivot element then i will increment p or it may happen that it has exhausted the incrementing but that means p has reached to the higher index of the list in that case also if it reaches to the highest index of that uh, portion of the list which i am considering so then it it can't increment then the incrementing will, will be stop otherwise continuously it goes on incrementing so i need two conditions for incrementing p one condition is it that mm, i have two condition for stopping incrementation uh, for uh, in uh, two uh, co two conditions for stopping in incrementation or two conditions for uh, doing incrementation one condition is that and it, it will go on so i will use while loop okay now if while array of p that means pth element of the array is less than the pth element of the the less than the pivot element pivot element then we will uh, we will implement or another way p is always less than the highest index of the list which is upper here so there will be another condition and and that p is less than or uh, p is less than or mm, less than of higher upper if it is equal to an upper then we will not increment it further so p is less than upper if these two conditions are satisfied then we will goes on incrementing p the first condition that is pth element array p is less than array pivot in the index will ensure that the all of the elements which are less than the pivot element that will be on the left side and and uh, the second condition that p should be less than upper so that it will not go beyond the array beyond the array size so it is confirming that one so i will increment p by 1 next i will keep on key dec uh, q decrementing if the keyword element of the array is 
greater than the pivot element till the pivot element is greater than the pivot element we will decrement here that means all of the elements which are higher value than the pivot element then it goes so that it can goes to the right hand side and it can decrementing decrementing when it will stop if uh, or it can exhaust total array so we will do in a decrementing until q is greater than upper if q becomes greater uh, if q becomes less than uh, lower q should not be less than lower so that it will go beyond size of the array so that will create a uh, error mm -hmm. so these are the two conditions for decrementation of q the first so i am writing the condition while array of q is greater than array of pivot index pivot index pivot index and but it it goes on decrementing so to make it boundary within the array size so how ma how many uh, times it can the q, q index value of q can goes on decrementing while q the pivot index is greater than the lo lower lower index the lowest index of the list until that it can goes on decrementing so that is q minus minus the first uh, is a uh, combination of two condition array q should be greater equals an array pivot index that means all of the elements which ensure this condition ensures that all of the elements will be higher which has higher value than pivot element that will be on the right side and q goes on decrementing it should not go beyond the size so q should be greater than lower so this is when this happens suppose p has gone to index there are 10 elements pivot element is zero with element p has gone to point some suppose p is 3 and q equals to suppose 5 so in that case p equals to 3 q equals to 5 that means p is the last element which is less than the uh, p is the last element which is less than uh, after that which is less than the pivot element after uh, that uh, uh, if p becomes p element becomes uh, greater than then p will not be decremented and q is such that with up to q all the, uh, the after q all the elements are greater than so but and at q at point the element is less than the pivot element so what I will do, I will interchange those p, p th and q th element. That will be interchanged. So the element which uh, which was on q that was not greater than um, pivot element. So it will come to the left hand side, and the element which was pointed by p that was not less than pivot element. So it will go to the upper side. The point is that. So if and the condition will be satisfied only when the p is less than q sometimes it happens q goes on decrementing and it crosses the p p should be less than q but when it crosses p then q becomes greater than q here p in that case the some other condition uh, some other uh, i mean uh, code some other action to, uh, will be uh, will be done but if p is less than q then what actions we will interchange the p and q element of the element because Pth element is one which is the first element in the left hand side which has value greater than pivot element and the qth element is the last uh, from the, uh, the la first element from the right hand uh, from the right hand side which has the which has the lower value than the pivot element so that will be interchanged so i will do uh, i will uh, that two elements will be interchanged so here i am I need to introduce a temporary variable to swap the value between p, a, p and q and x. So, I will use here a temporary uh, variable in tim. So, uh, what will be uh, it will be swapping between array p and array q. So, to imp equals to array p and array p equals to array q then 
array q equals to 10. Uh, so, when their extension has been done, that means now the element which is in p pth index that has value less than pivot element and now the element which is on the qth position we, uh, that has value greater than the pivot element. So, next p will be p will be incremented by 1 and q will be decremented by 1. So, here the next will be so that we, we will go on I mean we will go on in this way will continue the operation further ok p p plus plus because now p th element has lower value so i will increment now p and now the q th element has a higher value than the preferred element so i will decrement q q minus minus ok now I this condition this code will be uh, done only when p is less than so but what happens when q when p becomes greater than q that means q has been decremented suppose p is 4 and q, uh, q is 3 that means p is greater than q in that case what we will do again interchanging that means now q says the position that is the uh, left i mean uh, from the left it is the uh, actual position after that all the elements right hand of the q all the elements are greater than the pivot element and starting from uh, lower to lower to the uh, and to the point of q uh, to the index of q all elements are less than the uh, pivot element so now the position actual final position of the pivot element will be on q, q and x so i will do the interchanging between pivot array pivot index and array q that is uh, qth index and pivot element will be interchanged and this interchange and uh, interchange ensures that the, the mm, uh, pivot element is placed at the proper index position within the array so what is the condition of that the condition is that else else if else if p p is greater than q so here question may arise if p equals to q then what happens then neither of the code will be executed so so i think so in that case uh, uh, i will come to that later but for this uh, for this time only i will considering these two conditions else if p is greater than q then i will swap the pivot element and the pivot element so that pivot element gets its proper position which is which is pointed by q so what i will do i will tempt array pivot index next uh, array pivot index equals to array q and array q equals to temp ok so after that the pivot element is placed at its proper position which was pointed by q that means now all the elements q has been placed its proper position and all the elements which were less than the pivot element is on the left hand side of the pivot element and all of the elements which are uh, greater than the pivot element that are on the right hand side because pivot element has been placed at proper positions so after this we will just break out uh, this uh, uh, after this what will happen we'll, we will mm, now this will be done if it has happened then we will here one thing i have to see uh, p is q p is less than q after doing this we will uh, call the next quick sort because we have divided the whole list into two positions uh, into two halves one half is at the left hand side of the pivot element and one is at the right hand side of the pivot element and what is the uh, final position of pivot element the q which indicates the final position of pivot element so after this what we will do we will call quick sort again for the lower half quick sort algorithm 
and what will be the lower uh, half the lower position will be same lower uh, value will be same but uh, as the uh, all of the elements uh, which were less than that are on the left hand side and the pivot element is placed at q location so now the left hand side list becomes starts from lower which uh, which was a quick sort the lower value it was first first that lower value and the upper value would be q minus 1 q minus 1 because up q has been the proper position for the pivot element now we have divided into two halves uh, one is ranging from lower to q minus 1 so another um, so again quick sort will be called for this range and next quick sort function will be called for upper half so it will be p it will start from p and will go to upper upper value is taken from the uh, original upper value uh, which is calling this function so within the their upper value was supplied so that upper value goes pass is being passed into it as a parameter and when after that uh, so uh, when lower uh, value of q minus 1 will be now here is one thing now if we say uh, this one this part while array p and up to this this what will happen upper uh, suppose p and q uh, this condition has been set um, i mean this while the uh, we have uh, after this execution up to this suppose p is equals to 4 and q is equals to 7 so after that p is less than q condition satisfied so they will be interchanged the p and q with element will be inter interchanged and if this condition p equals to q not satisfied then only this condition will be executed but when p is less than q and this condition uh, this code is executed under this condition then again after interchanging again comparison will be done whether uh, this p pth element is less than the pivot element new pivot uh, that pivot element and whether the new qth element is greater than the so that will be go on so that will be placed within a do while loop i will place it because that continuous goes on so i will place it within uh, 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 within uh, an do while loop and the condition within while loop that up to how long it will be loop will be uh, continued that I will I will say later but when the condition becomes p greater than q mm -hmm. that means that means uh, this part has been executed so in that case that q q with and uh, pivot element uh, gets interchanged and after that we go we uh, find the pivot element at its final position so when this being done then we will come out from the while loop that is the condition of come out coming out from the uh, while loop so be after so after coming out from while loop it will execute it it, it will be uh, the total list is divided into two parts and so this uh, recursive call will be uh, there for those two parts again so to come out from this while loop here i have to write a break statement and this until this is the only condition this is the only only possible way where the loop can come out from the while loop until but there are no other condition of coming out from this loop so uh, the uh, if that uh, if this else if is not uh, it uh, if the control uh, this code is not satisfied then that means the uh, loop will be go on continuing but if once it satisfies this condition p is greater than q then it is executed and it comes out of the loop so while is always be executing one whatever we condition uh, but while will be going on but when this becomes then it comes out from the uh, while loop and this uh, recursive again quick sort is called for those two halves separately and after running after after executing this again uh, it will uh, quick sort lower q minus 1 this um, this uh, this will again uh, so uh, uh, from this list will again uh, try to sorting the lower half then next quick sort will try to sorting will sort the upper half 
so when that is been done then we will return from there return statement has been included but here is one question suppose uh, lower becomes uh, 8 and q minus 1 becomes mm, uh, lower becomes 8 and q minus 1 is 9 that means there are in that position in the square which which called there are two elements then that is okay so a, a two, two position they can be in not in the proper position so this will be uh, the function will execute as normal mm -hmm. but when there is one element suppose only one eight element so in that case there is no point of running the uh, function so in that case the condition is that whenever in quick sort i am passing this two parameter lower and upper always the value of lower should be less than the upper if the value of lower becomes equals and upper then that means there is only one item in the list and there is no point of sorting so this will be executed only when if lower is less than upper otherwise mm -hmm. the function will if that that is called suppose uh, quick sort lower value 8 q minus 1 is also 8 so in that case it will just uh, the call will be the, the function will be called but it will do nothing it will just be returned so uh, what is the uh, condition so that uh, that will be executed when if lower is less equals than upper then only that function body will be executed otherwise otherwise it will that's return so this uh, if lower is less than upper this is the starting of and it will end here it will end here uh, no uh, uh, because the quick sort lower q minus 1 then it will not work because uh, this total portion if lower is not in less than upper then then this total portion will not work so when this uh, total portion only uh, only be executed when lower is an upper otherwise if it is called by lower equals to upper or lower uh, this condition is like that lower is not equals to upper then just it will be return the function will just return so why have placed a um, uh, return outside of the bracket now this is the uh, this is uh, the total uh, quick sort uh, mm, quick sort body of the quick sort recursive function but that i in the main i want to see the array whether it has been sorted or not so i will just enter a printf statement okay i will just enter a printf statement which will print the array in the starting from 0 to 9 so uh, here i am writing uh, the sorted array the sorted array is below the sorted array is below below Achha, before uh, sorted array is below so for array index I will need to declare a variable int index ok it will just print the array sorted array is below so for index equals to 0 and index is less than array size index plus plus it will just print the array so I can see whether it has been sorted or not mm. Mm. slash percent is D mm. then mm. and it is array index that will be printed and after that after that uh, and also I will do one thing here I will print the array before sorting also so that it will be understood better so this code mm. I am just copying it here mm. oh. that control V the unsorted array is the original array that is the original array array is below and the sorted array. ok and this is uh, this is 
not writing 9 I will write array size minus 1 so it will work on any array size ok now I am saving it and see whether it runs properly or not gcc uh, out dot c so dot c okay, so many error so int main okay there is one one error typing mistake hmm. you edit good sort let's see here main function is not um, this is and main is a function but I have placed a second bracket wrongly ok so that has been done next is that we sort at line 7 unexpected and un identify 7 ok let's see line number 7 so this is in main Mm. Mm. Why okay? That will be there, okay. That was related to the first error that was so it was shown. But uh, error expected identifier Q is greater than lower. Oh I can uh, suppose in uh, this condition uh, this condition the on one left hand side uh, parenthesis is required. That's why because this is uh, the two combination of here I need one bracket more ok now next is another error q minus minus semicolon should be there so this is all syntax error so where is q minus minus this one there should be a semicolon I think now let's check okay. ok no problem now now I will run the program the original array is below 11, 2, 9, 13, 7 mm. it has uh, become or loop, mm. looping loop in finite loop that's why the output is not coming so I will just Close terminal. I have to change something here. The it ha it goes into infinite loop. That's why it's not terminating. Okay. Then I have to program cd cd section. Then csh Section mm. and create it. Quick sort. Quick sort. This you don't worry because um, some problem is there. If lower is less than upper, do what is the problem? Is that if lower is less equal to upper? Sure, I do one thing. Mm. E plus plus Q lower why this condition if P equals to Q oh, if P is greater than Q then Acha this particular one thing I will do I lower if P is here I will give because P is better than Q so if P is um, this, this will be ok let's see because I did it because if P becomes uh, uh, suppose when P equals to Q then suppose uh, P equals to P is greater than Q then it will come out from the loop but some points it's coming while it is not entering the value of p and q is not entering into this if block 
that means the condition p equals to q happens so when p equals to q happens so in that case uh, in that case also if p equals to q happens so uh, so here one thing i will not this will be executed i am writing here when p is less equals than q the condition will be executed because when both p and q there is one element so in that case again that loop will uh, uh, it will uh, loop will be continued and if array p is uh, so here also one thing that means uh, p equals to q so both and it becomes upper and lower p becomes to the upper and p beca can become to the lower also p become to the lower upper also so this there is i uh, need one thing so in that case it will be executed the the condition will be there so until now p is less equals than q uh, that will be goes on the only condition or is that p is greater than q then it will come up from the left ok so another thing is that mm, again one thing I have, I have seen that here printed the original array and after that the sorted array let's see whether it works or not given proper output here see the original array is below and the sorted array we have found it ok and if I want to see how many com how many times it takes to get the sorted array so there is if that can be done let's see what we can do that means yeah. how many compare how many mm. Mm, times uh, it has to do the number of comparison one is p is in uh, how many times it needs to uh, the loop is executing how many times this loop will be executed that is after this execution only the um, so what i will do I will uh, declare a global variable. How many times the loop will be iterated? So, so let's check whether it uh, int number of comparison, number of iteration, number of calls. How many calls we have? Number of. Uh, that means how many uh, how many times after looping a particular uh, element a particular uh, element in the array gets its proper position after how many times of looping a particular element in this array gets its proper position so number of loop number of uh, loop loops equals to as it is global so there is no no point to initialize it by default it will be initialized to zero and after each times after how many times of this the particular position particular element comes to its proper position yes. so here is the condition where it goes to its proper position the pivot element so number of loop plus plus ok number of what is number of loop number of loop plus plus and here I want to display that ok so number of loops 
number of loops loops equals to percentage d slash n which is number of loops number of loops so i think uh, so uh, sometimes it we can find out the complexity of the algorithm so looping is required how many times to get the total error sorted so to find out to see whether we are getting the result what the getting the result actually the worst case complexity is order of n square that means if there was 10 element maximum can be there uh, 100 times 100 times 100 looping to get all the elements in proper position and if it is average or best case then it will take log of 10 that means it will take log of 10 means maximum 4 4 times it uh, it will be answer so let's see fix sort okay see number of loops it was to 7 that means after though there are 10 elements but the loop is continued for after that means 10 elements are getting its proper position after 7 times of looping not 10 times of looping not 100 times of looping we need we need actually 7 times of looping i was telling 4 okay let's have a guess it's not a point it's a uh, it's not point of programming mm. it's a point of uh, algorithm complexity that is out of the scope of this uh, lecture so that's all thank you is it yes 